So the first thing that you need to do is clip um, a full head of extensions into your hair. I've just used a full set of bleach blonde ones in 613. Um, and once you've put them all in your hair, I haven't bothered doing it neatly or anything. I've literally just put them in wherever. I haven't bothered straightening them and I haven't bothered straightening my real hair because it doesn't really matter for this style. So once you've put all your extensions in, like I have, um, really not bothered doing it neatly, you need to take your hairbrush and brush the top section of your hair the way you want the top of your ponytail to go. I've got this horrible fringe which I had cut yesterday and I hate it, so I'm going to clip that away. So I'm going to brush my hair sort of to the back, everywhere else, and have that going to the side because that's going to be clipped away. And then you need to tie up your hair into a side ponytail. Like this. I'm just going to clip that out of the way. This horrible fringe. Which I hate. Okay, so now that's in the way you can, out of the way, you can hopefully see better what I'm doing. So, um, first thing that you need to do is split your paint out into two equal parts, like that. And then to do this braid, you take a small, maybe like a centimetre amount of hair from one side and bring it over to the other side and do the same again, take it from one side and bring it over to the other bunch of hair. Um, and at first it takes forever, but once you get used to it, you can actually start doing it really quickly. Um, so yeah, it takes a while to get the hang of it and then you should start coming a little bit easier.
Okay, once you've reached as far as you want to go, just tie it with a hairband. Now, the next step is how to make it look messy. So, I'm just looking in a mirror over here if you wonder what I'm looking at. What you need to do is pull out the strands to make them a bit looser. So, you just work your way down, pulling them out. So there you have your braid done. Um, I have a little spike of hair there, which is annoying, but so there you go there. So there's your braid. So now you probably want to make the rest of your hair look a bit nicer to go with the braid. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, since I've loosened it all up, I'm actually going to tie my tie a tiny bit higher. Um, just so it doesn't look like at all straggly at the ends. Um, the final thing that I'm going to do to finish off my fishtail braid is turn on my straighteners and do something with the top of my hair. Because, as I said, I've got this horrible fringe, which I really don't like. But I kind of think this style looks better with a bit of hair on my face. So I'm not going to cut it back. I'm just going to pull out my hair to make it a bit more voluminous. Um, pull down a few bits at the front. And then see what I can do with this fringe with my straighteners. But you can do whatever you really want with the front of your um, hair, like you might like to have it tied back or whatever really. Um, I'm just hating my fringe so just trying to do something with it. So there you go, that's the finished look. Um, it's really really easy, it gets so much easier with practice. Um, I'm also, as a finishing touch, just going to put some serum down the plait because it's also a fraying out, which is fine, but, you know, it looks nice if it's a little bit smoother. So, there you go. I hope you liked it, and have fun trying it. Thanks for watching.